Here's graphing trig functions. Uh, here's a general equation. y is equal to c plus a sine or cosine b theta minus d. Theta is important to note because you're in degrees. c is your vertical shift. a is your amplitude. b gives you your period. 360 degrees divided by that value b is your period. And d is your phase shift. So negative pushes it over. So this is a good example. y equals 5 plus 3 sine 2 theta minus 90 degrees. Step 1 is to mark up your equation. Vertical shift, amplitude, period is 360 divided by 2, 180. So a half cycle is 90 a quarter cycle in 45, and a phase shift. So step one, mark up the equation. Step two, label your axes. Label your y-axis first. These two values affect your y-axis. From five, I go up three to eight, down three to two. Step three, label your x-axis. This and this determine your x-axis. I start at 90. I end 180 degrees later at 270, a half cycle in 90, so 90 plus 90 is 180. Quarter cycle is 45, so 90 plus 45 is 135, plus 45, plus 45, plus 45, so I have it split into quarters. So step one, mark up your equation. Step two, label your y-axis. Step three, Label the horizontal axis. Step four, put in critical points. It's a sine graph. So at the first point, it's in the middle. 180, it's in the middle. And at the end, it's in the middle. At the first quarter, it's up. And the third quarter is down. Connect the dots. And there's my sine graph. But I want to pick a point, an easy point like 270, and plug it in and make sure I graphed it correctly. 270 minus 90 is 180, times 2 is 360. Sine of 360, if you remember that, sine of 360 is the opposite of adjacent is 0, times 3 is 0, plus 5 is 5, so 270 should be 5. So again, five simple steps. Mark up the equation. Use these two values to label your y-axis. Step 3, use these two labels these two values to label your theta axis. Step four, put in cri critical points and connect the dots. Step five, pick a value and check. So that's how you graph trig functions.